Haley Baldwin seemed to have always been a super fan of Justin Bieber, and because of her social status, father, and famous friends, she was able to get with him by any means necessary. Justin and Haley's first time meeting was in October of 2009, but she was a longtime fan of him before that, and you may have seen their awkward meeting mess behind the scenes at the Today Show. Hey, my name's Steve And the third song, doing, bro? Hey, this is my daughter Haley. The third song is... Yeah. We've been, uh, we've been enjoying your music. Thank you. I think I'm making three kids. The first song. Airport, my airport, 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 airport. Oh, yeah? And then, like, you said, you said, like, you met you when you first started out. Oh, wow, that's awesome. They met again in 2011 when Haley's dad took her to Justin's Never Say Never premiere. Now, you might wonder who her dad even is if he can get her into all these exclusive events. Well, his name is Stephen Baldwin, and he was a prominent actor in the 80s. Not so much anymore, but hopefully you're getting that he's famous and has connections. Anyways, back to the main story. Around the same time in 2011, Selena and Justin began dating, and Haley even tweeted about them, saying, I don't care what anyone says, but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream. Hashtag word. Now, in her defense, she was just overall heavily involved in the pop culture sphere and wouldn't only tweet about Justin, although she did tweet about him. Quite a lot. In November of the same year, Selena and Justin ended things, and this is when her story starts getting creepy. I can't 100% confirm these accusations because Haley's Twitter is deactivated, but according to her so-called ex-internet friend Meep's video, story time Haley Bieber stocked Justin in NYC with receipts during Justin's 2013 Believe tour well it went from September 29 2012 to December 8th 2013 but we'll call it his 2013 tour Haley asked for the address of where he was staying here you're gonna see where I wrote Satai Fifth Ave the the DM that was right above that that she sent to me is gone because she unsent it right away and if I went back to my MacBook from fucking 2013 maybe I could find that because above that and you're gonna have to take my word for this one because I don't have it but she said what hotel is Justin staying at Kylie and I want to know stop I know you don't believe me and that's fine you don't have to believe me nobody's forcing you to but if you look up Satai Fifth Ave around February 2013, you will see that like he would he stays there. He stayed there a million and one times. So she said, "What the fuck, random ass ho hotel?" Cause like whatever. But I gave them that info because at the time Haley and Kylie were staying at the London. Justin had been known to stay at the London, but he was staying at the Satai. This all makes me sound like a psycho, but I was 15 years old and a Super Bieber fan. I'm 24 years old now. I don't even know if that math adds up. Remember when Justin and Selena and all of them made that "Call Me Maybe" video back in like the photo booth days? We remade the Call Me Maybe video. You could probably find it for yourself, but I'm not even, like, I'm in it, so, like, I don't even want it, the whole thing out there, but I will put the little clip of her YouTube. She was in it. She agreed to be in it for us. She made a clip and, met, and emailed it to us <laughs> to put in a YouTube video that we remade of Justin and Selena. Like, what else do I have to And do? apparently she went there, and because somewhat recognizable to Justin and his team, she didn't seem nearly as creepy as she was actually being. She knew she was recognizable by other people, Justin, or people on Justin's team, or whatever. So she never would stand outside somebody's hotel. But we would give her that info because she would say she would either stay at that hotel or she would eat at that hotel or do whatever at that hotel so she could bump into him, okay? I could not make this shit up. If you look it up on Twitter, I'm sure there's other people who have come out and said the same thing that have also known her. But to find one tweet where it was like she literally was talking about how tall he was with that. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I couldn't make this up. Do you think she's told him this? She said, no, more than 5'8", because I'm 5'7 and a half, and we're literally almost the exact same height. That's talking about Justin's height. This was in 2000. Here's a pretty ominous photo of her outside the hotel. Now, mind you, this photo might not seem that weird, because there's other people around, and he's taking photos with them, but it still is. A counter to that first point is you have to realize how popular Justin really is in the grand scheme of things, and he probably had multiple stalkers, she definitely wasn't the only one. He's literally a pop culture icon. A pop music icon. Just, he's just a fucking I I don't know. And for the second point, I don't know why he was taking photos with them. Maybe it was because he was young and didn't realize how these super fans respected his personal space, or didn't respect his personal space, but yeah, it's still weird that she showed up to his hotel. 
Justin started to hang around with Haley more and more, and this is when her alleged stalking stopped, with Justin at least, but because she was already friends with him. Oh yeah, and uh, hanging out with them was also Kendall Jenner a lot of the time. I'm only mentioning that because I don't even know a lot of the other sources mentioned it, but it's not really relevant. It doesn't matter. Now, let's recap their love slash hey question mark relationship life. I don't even know. People began suspecting Haley and Justin were dating, but both of them denied claims at the time. And on November 23rd, 2015, Justin and Selena seemingly rekindled, so maybe it was over for them, but that little thing obviously didn't last for long because just a monthish later, on December 29th, Haley and Justin went on a trip to Anguilla together with his family, and their relationship was finally confirmed in 2016 when Justin posted a photo of them making out and they claimed to not be an exclusive couple, so kind of confusing. They were teasing people with their relationship, but it, they weren't a relationship, but they were a relationship. No one knows. Then, in 2016, their whole relationship appeared to have fallen apart, and they both unfollowed each other. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't care about all the details. They got back together and ended things multiple times, but this time it seemed to be the last. They were back. Finally, on July 7th, 2018, Justin proposed to Haley in the Bahamas, and, on, and in September, they said fuck it and paid a visit to the courthouse to officially get married. And on November 16th, Haley changed her socials from Baldwin to Bieber, so the public began to realize this was a real thing. Their wedding took place on September 30th, 2019, and you might remember it from Haley's iconic dress, custom made by Virgil, rest in peace, or by the other many celebrity photos taken at and of the event. In more recent times, Haley's also been accused of cyber stalking Selena, so it wouldn't be outrageous for this to be her second or at least second time stalking someone. Psst, her first was Justin, if you didn't already get that. Now, you can call her whatever you want, but I would consider showing up to someone's hotel a slight stalkerish, and although definitely not as, as extreme as when my friend first mentioned the idea to me, I could definitely see where it comes from. I don't know, there's not really a theory here, and when Selena Gomez's documentary came out, I was hoping for more information on the situation, but a source that watched it told me it was more radio silence than drama. I didn't listen to it, but I was told it was for damage control, just in case she was mentioned in Selena's documentary, but Haley appeared on the Call Me Daddy podcast, and I didn't watch it, but I know if she said anything about this, I would have seen a clip by now. Although, I did see a clip about her not being a homewrecker. Were you ever with Justin, romantically, at the same time as her? No. When him and I ever started, like, hooking up or, like, anything of that sort, he was not ever in a relationship, ever. The timeline also that I think sometimes is in question of like us getting together and getting engaged and him having been spending time with his ex before that. I understand, again, how it looks from the outside and there's a lot of perception there, but that was a situation where I, I know for a fact that it was the right thing for them to close that door also justin knows she was a super fan and although they have their fair share of drama it seems like everything is going good for them and i can definitely see an argument for her just being a super like super 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 fan like i mentioned before people always ask me if i'd marry a believer well i did